if you are a mechanical engineer and if you want to work inside design industry then definitely you will be confused between different 3d modeling software that you should start learning today so in this video i will be explaining what software you should choose when you are just getting started into the industry and what is the best way to learn those softwares now you must be thinking that who am i and why i am telling you all this so before i will get started i want to explain a little bit about myself i am also a mechanical engineer and i am having more than nine years of industrial experience from past few years i am working as a full-time freelance car designer and 3d painting enthusiast and recently we also started a new startup that is around industrial design and 3d printing where we provide industrial design services and also we train new engineering students on skills like 3d printing and design for 3d printing and also different CAD softwares like AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360. Now let's come on to our topic. So which software you should choose when you are just getting started into the industry and how to master those softwares. If you are a mechanical engineering student, I will highly recommend you to before diving directly into the CAD software, first go and check out the engineering design and drawing books. In these books, you will learn different topics like how to create a drawing, how to project a drawing, and what are the different projection styles available, how you can visualize different views of a design or objects. So this will help you in visualization. Also, these books will help you learn basic terms like fillet, chamfer, and there are so many. Because once you will dive into your first 3D modeling CAD software, you will find that there are so many terms that are related to these books and concepts that you will learn into these books. Now before selecting your first 3D modeling CAD softwares, there are few things that you always have to take care of. And these things are software availability, whether the software is affordable or not, whether it can run on a normal PC or not, whether you will need a specific hardware to run those softwares or not. So these are the basic things that you have to always take care of. If you are from mechanical engineering domain, I will highly recommend you to select the parametric CAD modeling software. So parametric CAD modeling softwares are those softwares where you can control your designs and sketches based on the dimensions. In these softwares, you can define rules and formulas to control the shape and size of your designs. When you selected your first parametric CAD modeling softwares, also make sure that this software must be affordable because once you are a student, you cannot afford to pay a very big amount to these software companies. And in 2025, most of the industry leading softwares comes up with the student's license. So you can check out for the different student license for different CAD modeling softwares. For example, if you want to go with Autodesk Fusion 360, so these softwares you can activate for free, especially when you are a student for one year. But to activate those softwares, you have to use your college email ID, you have to apply on their website and you will get the license that will be valid for one year for free. Whereas in case of SOLIDWORKS, they are also providing software licenses on a very minimal prices. So you can also check those licenses as well. But in case of softwares like CATIA and UZNX, there are no student licenses available. So if you want to learn these softwares, definitely you can join any company, big companies, those who are using these softwares and you can join there as an intern and start learning with them. Now the next important thing is whenever you are selecting your first parametric CAD modeling software, you also have to make sure that software must be easy to use on your available hardware. If your software need a very specific hardware or a very high-end hardware, that could be really tough to afford those hardwares. In this scenario, I always recommend Autodesk Fusion 360, but you can also go for the softwares like OnShape and XDesign tool from the Resolve system. But in case of these two tools, the community is not very big, whereas in case of Fusion 360, the community is very big and supportive. So the learning curve for the Fusion 360 will be very easy to follow. Now, whenever you are done selecting your first parametric CAD modeling softwares, I will always recommend to go with the basics of the software, like learning the tools, using the interface, how to control all the settings, etc. To learn the basics of the tool, I will always recommend to follow the official documentation of the CAD softwares. In this official documentation, you will find a step-by-step -step process to get started into the tool. While learning the basics of these CAD tools, I never recommend to buy any paid courses. Instead, I will suggest you to follow a good content creator on YouTube and sort their content based on the playlist. You should also sort out the YouTube results based on the upload date. If the uploaded content or the playlist is very old, you can find lots of problems while learning through those contents. That is why it's really very important to follow the content of those creators who are regularly updating their contents. Now, once you had started following the good content creator to learn the basics of the CAD tools, 
In parallel to that, you can also select a simple project that you want to replicate or reverse engineer inside the CAD tool. While doing this, you will face lots of problems and it's good. If you are facing problems, you can try to solve those problems by yourself. You can look for the internet, you can look for the different communities, try to post your problems, try to discuss with the other fellow learners and this way will get solution to your problems. And this way you will also learn to develop a habit where you will learn how to try to solve a problem by yourself. Also you can document the complete process of learning the softwares and whatever you are designing and whatever the steps you are taking to design any products, you can share these contents, you can share these experiences on your social media networks. These social media networks can be Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram but whenever you are posting these contents make sure to tag all of your friends and also whenever you are getting feedbacks from them don't just say thank you. Try to implement those feedbacks and improve your process, improve your learning. Since I have been using Autodesk Fusion 360 for a very long time and I also use SOLIDWORKS license that I had purchased from the SOLIDWORKS official website, I use SOLIDWORKS makers license but still whoever in 2025 is getting started into the CAD tools, I always recommend Fusion 360 because the community is very big, you can share all the details, drawings and design very easily with your friends and they can also be able to give you the feedbacks and the comments on your design. And since it's a cloud-based CAD CAM software, I can access all my files, all my contents anywhere in this world on any devices. So after watching this video, if you had decided your CAD tool, just comment below in this video what CAD tool you had decided to start learning. And if you are getting stuck in anywhere in learning those CAD tools, just comment those as well. We'll try to help you as much as possible. Since we are creating lots of contents around CAD design, 3D printing and engineering from past few years, we can help you we can guide you and we can support you so press the like button if you liked my suggestion and also subscribe to my channel see you in the next video guys thanks for watching thank you